Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Tarzan is an all-familiar name. The feral boy who spent his early days under the care of great apes in the jungle, far away from human civilization. He's a hero of sorts. Such kids aren't exactly common in the real world, but they aren't non-existent either. The only difference is that, unlike Tarzan, real-life kids raised in the wild don't lead glorious lives by human standards. They're usually abandoned with only the animals coming to their rescue. Also, they struggle with basic human aspects like speech, with some never being able to quite fit in among people. In this video, we're looking at 10 of these children discovered over the years. Number 10. Trajan Kaldarar This Romanian boy was picked from a forest in 2002, where he's thought to have spent at least three years. According to his mom, she got separated from her son when she fled the home due to her ever-violent husband. When she came back for Trajan, the father insisted on staying with the kid, and that's how she gave up. The boy later ended up in the wild and might have spent most of the three years with a pack of wild dogs that played a significant role in his survival. When he was captured, he was malnourished and his posture wasn't completely upright. He was also aggressive when hungry and growled in defense when he was eating, though his behavior improved with time. Number 9. Rochon Pigyang Our second child in this video is a Cambodian girl who stayed in the jungle the longest time, but she didn't live with any specific animal in particular. According to her parents, she disappeared when she was just 8 years old while on a buffalo herding errand with her younger sister. Much wasn't heard about her until almost 20 years later, when she suddenly appeared again in her home village. From her appearance, it was clear that she had been living in the jungle all those years. She was naked, unkempt, and knew nothing of talking. Those who were present when she was captured said she only knew three words, stomach ache, mother, and father. She also moved around by crawling instead of walking upright like normal human beings. Her family took her back and tried all they could to assimilate her into human mannerisms to no avail. It was just too late for that. For instance, her mother had to step in now and then to stop her from taking off clothes. And just to prove that she had been too accustomed to life in the jungle with whatever animals she had been living with, she ran away in 2010. She has never been seen again to this day, despite several searches. Number 8. Kamala and Amala the story of these two Indian girls is fairly popular. They were discovered in 1920 in a wolf den near an orphanage in northern India. When they were first spotted in the dark, villagers were quite fearful and thought of them as some ghostly figures that walked around with wolves. But a closer investigation later revealed they were human beings just like they had become accustomed to the jungle nightlife and had generally wild tendencies. When they were captured, Kamala and Amala ate only raw meat and tore off any clothes they were made to wear. They became more active when the moon was out and howled just like wolves. Of course, the two girls made considerable progress in becoming more human-like, but they later succumbed to illness. Number 7. John Sebanya John got separated from his parents somewhere in the late 80s. According to accounts, the parents tended to fight often and went overboard one night when they knocked off a lamp, consequently setting their house on fire. Sabanya, who was just a small kid at the time, had no other choice but to seek refuge in the nearby jungle. Under normal circumstances, such a move would have meant ultimate death from all the danger that lurks in the woods. But the young boy survived, albeit a different way. But when he was found by a woman searching for firewood in the same jungle, he was in the company of the vervet monkeys. He had completely adopted their way of life, including sharing their meals. He was also covered in hair and his knees were scarred from all the crawling he endured over the years. Interestingly, he didn't readily give in to the idea of being with humans again, and is said to have put up some resistance with the help of his monkey family. Thankfully, he was rescued and tended to accordingly. Today, he sings in a choir and has been on tours around the globe for the same. Number 6. Ramu the Wolf Boy Ramu was pulled from the jungle in 1976 in the company of wolf cubs. And no, he wasn't walking on twos like it's the norm with humans. He walked on all fours just like his rather unusual family. When he was handed over to Prem Nivas, a home run by Mother Teresa's Missionaries of Charity, it was soon discovered that Ramu had other mannerisms that matched that of wolves. For instance, he preferred raw overcooked meat, lapped up water instead of drinking it, and had a tendency to raid chicken pens at night. His nails had grown tall and hardened, which gave them the appearance of claws. By the time he died a few years later, Ramu at least knew how to clothe and bathe himself. 
but speaking is one thing he was never able to do. Number five, Marina Chapman. Marina's story is that of adapting to survive in a world so different from what we're used to, and at a young age. When she was five, Marina Chapman fell into the hands of kidnappers who, for some reason, decided to abandon the whole idea of taking her away. But then, they were already quite a distance from her home, so they simply dumped her in the Colombian jungle and went away. So here she was, a mere toddler inside a vast jungle with considerable danger just lurking around. Obviously, she had to either adapt or die, which is not a dilemma anyone, let alone a five-year-old, should face. Luckily for her, at least, she fell into the company of capuchin monkeys and followed their way of life to stay alive in the unforgiving wild. She ate the same food as them, slept where they slept, and followed them around until they came to accept her as her family member. She spent at least five years with her newfound family, and since speech wasn't part of their interaction, she ended up completely losing the ability to speak. She was later saved by a group of hunters who unfortunately sold her over to a brothel. After a short stint at this, she escaped and spent some time on the streets before becoming a slave in a mafia family. Here, a neighbor came to her rescue and she eventually relocated to Bradford, where she has spent much of her life with her family. Marina has published these events in her book, The Girl With No Name, which she wrote with the help of her daughter. Number four, Bello. Bello was the victim of stigmatization that was common towards the disabled among the Fulani people of Nigeria. Born in the 1990s, the boy is thought to have been abandoned at six months of age in Falgor Forest of South Kano. This was more of a death sentence for such a small toddler. But luckily, chimpanzees in the forest adopted and raised him as one of their own. When hunters found him in 1996, he was among the new family behaving exactly like them. It's estimated that the boy might have stayed with the chimps for at least two years. He walked like a chimpanzee with a slightly bent posture so that his arms dragged on the ground. He also made chimp noises and clapped his hands over his head, just like his adopted family. These traits were particularly disturbing for other kids at the children's home who he had been placed with. He leaped all over the place and smashed things around the home. But as time went by, he became calmer and more human-like in his display. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2005. Number three, Russian Bird Boy. When he was discovered in 2008 by God-sent care workers, the Russian bird boy couldn't talk and much of his communication was a series of chirps and flaps, much like that of a bird. And all that was thanks to his mom who had completely neglected the boy, leaving him to spend all his time with birds that she housed in one of her apartment's rooms. Essentially, the mother raised this boy just as one of her birds and never said a word to him, even though she never mistreated or denied him food. So the boy learned the only means of communication that was available for him, which was that of the birds. The mother agreed to hand over her son into childcare, where the boy was placed in a psychological care facility for rehabilitation. Nothing much had been heard about him, but at seven, he was still more likely to catch up with human traits, especially communication. But of course, he'll still retain a bit of his chirping ability. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. The Cat Boy We haven't come across any kid brought up by a lion, or any big cat for that matter, but one wonders if these powerful predators can be willing to nurture human offspring like the other animals in this video. That said, we did find one case of the smaller cats taking over the parental responsibility of humans. In Argentina, a group of eight stray cats were discovered looking after an abandoned one-year-old boy and did all they deemed necessary to keep him alive. They brought him scraps of food, cushioned him against the cold night, and even kept him clean by licking mud off his skin. And they were also protective of him as they spat at an officer who tried to get too close. The police said they found the boy's father, who was homeless and had lost his son a few days earlier. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number one, Oksana Malaya. Oksana had the unfortunate fate of being born to extremely alcoholic parents in the late 1980s in Ukraine. 
Neglect became pretty much part of her life at a tender age, when full attention from her mom and dad were especially important. That was bad enough for her, but then the worst happened. The same parents completely ignored her existence and had to move out at age three, and where else to go than a dog shed just behind their home. Here, she found refuge and solace in hanging out with wild dogs that roamed the streets. Very unlikely companions, but they proved to be far more humane than her parents. But the hospitality came at a price on Oksana's part. Turns out spending five years with hounds as a toddler changes your human mannerisms by far. When she was found in 1991, Oksana was eight years old and much of her behavior was identical to that of the dogs that had been her caregivers for the past few years. She walked on all fours, barked, and even growled, just like your typical pooch. Her senses of smell, sight, and hearing had also developed beyond those of a human being and her pack wasn't so ready to let one of their members be taken away so easily. The dogs chased away the well-meaning rescuers at the first attempt of taking her. After being pulled from among the dogs, she struggled with things like speech and general social and emotional skills. She now lives in a mental institution owing to her condition.